Hello there again. Uh, today I'd like to talk about how to create some arena lighting uh, without the slowdown and without the problems with shadows. Um, this is sort of a carry-on from a previous video I did a short while ago where I was setting up the lighting in an arena and I had a thought of, well, basically in an arena you're typically looking at lots of lights. So if we just quickly Google some uh, uh, exhibition arena lighting. What you tend to find is the arena itself will have loads and loads of little spotlights all shining down onto the audience. Now traditionally I would have sort of emulated this and they go look at all these. Um, I would have emulated this with actual real spotlights because although there's this blanket of lighting from above and it's sort of giving this sort of soft light shining down onto the audience. The issue you get is the shadows. So let me show you, let me show you the problem. So without having to have lots and lots of spotlights, one trick you can do to sort of create this just generic arena lighting from above is to take an area light, spin it around so it's pointing straight down, raise it up, and just make sure it's large enough that it is sort of covering you know, your entire arena size. So here I do have a, a floor, some of these sticks to show the issues, and then just a few objects in here to check the shadows working. So the problem is this. If I give this a quick render now, it's a bit dark, let's just boost this up uh, to 250%, hit render, do, 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 do. a little bit bright, let's just knock that down a bit, down to 200. Okay, so we've got this nice, soft, silky, silky lighting shining down from above. And that's fine, that's more or less what we're after. But the problem comes with the shadows. If I turn on shadows for this area light, we're going to get a few issues. The first one is sort of what, what shadows do we use? If I go for some simple ray traced hard shadows, it works, but you've got to keep something in mind. When this thing casts a hard shadow downwards, the shadow will come from this position here, the, the exact center of the light source, which means this object here is gonna get a shadow leaning off to the side, and this object here is gonna get a shadow leaning over there. Basically, I'm gonna get this. You don't want, usually, all your shadows flying off in completely different, in this case, quite extreme angles. Um, you're going to get the same issue if you go with a soft shadow, because it's really the same thing, just softer. Um, so you might think, well, okay, well, surely you use an area shadow when you're using an area light. And yeah, you do, but in this case, it's not really going to give us what we want. Although it works, and there's no silly shadows going everywhere, the issue now is that we don't really have much shadow going on at all. If I put these uh, items back in the scene and hit render, they're hovering just slightly above the floor, and all well, the issue is with this massive, great, big area light, you're going to get super, super soft shadows. So it doesn't really help us very much. We can do something about this. So the issue is that we can't use this light for hard shadows or soft shadows, uh, and area shadows are going to be a problem. So the solution is, or well, this is something I've sort of made up, uh, don't use that light for shadows at all. Use another light. If we turn off shadows here, this nice big area light is casting the illumination. Uh, let's just duplicate it, copy and paste. Uh, and for this light, what we're going to do is we're going to set this to be a parallel light. So if you have a look down at the settings here, um, we don't use it too often, in fact it's used so little it doesn't even actually have an icon. Uh, but we're going to go for this one here, this parallel light. Let's just name this light so we can actually keep track of which one is which. So parallel, two L's, three L's, there you go. Um, now, that a parallel light is essentially a light which doesn't really have a position as such, it just has a direction. So. We tend to use these for, for example, sunlight, where you just want the light shining down in a specific direction, and you don't want any of your shadows spreading outwards from the light source. So by setting this thing to parallel, it's, it's pointing straight down, because our area light was also pointing straight down. 
Uh, and I'll just jump in here and I'll set some hard shadows. Now, let me turn off this big airy light for a moment. When we hit render, these things are lit, a bit too bright at the minute, but the shadows are nice and crisp and clear, and they're all pointing straight down. So hopefully we can just combine the two. If I tell my parallel light, look, I like the light type, I like the shadow type, but I don't, I don't want to actually see any illumination from you. Jump on over to your details page. We have this setting in here called Shadow Caster. The Shadow Caster setting tells the light, don't illuminate anything, just cast your light straight down onto the scene. Well, that's pretty much what we're after, so let's turn this on. Let's turn our airy light back on again and see what we get. Well, okay, there we go. So we've got both our nice, soft area illumination lighting, good, and we at the same time have our detailed, crisp, ray traced lighting. Now, of course, feel free to change the type. You can go for a soft shadow, oops, wrong light. Uh, you can go for a soft shadow, or you can still mess around with the area settings of this other light. But by doing this, we've essentially disconnected the illumination from the shadow casting section of our lighting. Um, for a little bit more detail, for a little bit more realism, maybe don't shine the light straight down from above. Try, try rotating it to the side a little. If I grab this parallel light and our rotation tool, I can just rotate it slightly to the side, and this blue line here is essentially the direction that the light, well, the shadow will go in. But if I do this to the side, all our shadows will now come down at a slight angle. So our poles here will start casting shadows slightly off to the side, because you, you probably don't want it straight down. That's a little bit too perfect. Um, but it does also cause another slight issue. You can see over here, for example, this guy, he's lost his arm. Now the thing with the parallel light is it only shines in one direction. So as I'm rotating this thing around, the edge of the shadow, or the edge of the light rather, it sort of clips off, and anything in this dark area just won't get any sort of shadow whatsoever. Well, the solution of this is nice and easier. Just move the light further away. If I move this light too far down, you can see oh, the shadow gets worse. But if I just move this light up into the sky, boo, 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 there we go. It's now covering everything and we've got no more issues with bits getting cut off. So if I turn them both on, hit our render button, then there we go. Nicely lit, nice shadows, nothing getting cut off, uh, and it works quite nicely. You've just got to keep in mind when you do this for the actual arena, if you can have a ceiling up above, make sure that you set this thing to not be uh, affected by the illumination, or at least not by the shadows anyway. So when you've got your ceiling in there, let's just pretend it's this plane here. Just tell the plane with a compositing tag, so that's tags, cinema tags, and compositing. Just tell the object, look, don't allow any shadows to be cast from this object. Uh, and there you go, that will stop your ceiling from, from getting in the way of these shadows. But uh, worth a try, so it's an interesting technique, see if it works for you. Uh, if it does, let me know. If it doesn't, let me know. Uh, and if you've got a better solution, if you think you, you can do this better, again, let me know and I'm, uh, I'm happy to tell everyone else. So, okay, that's once again Mash from 3D Fluff. All the best.